Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Tom McRae here from uh, the golf shop at Laguna Woods, just uh, with some little updates. Um, what I can tell you, obviously, you know, we all know about uh, about the same amount about the timing of things and when we're going to be able to get back to golf and, and so forth. Um, but out on the golf course, I mean, hopefully a lot of you have been able to get out and uh, take a nice walk around. Uh, we've seen uh, a lot of people out there on the course today, and it was uh, today and you know, ever since we've been closed and it's been really nice to be able to uh, allow everybody to get out and walk around and and see the golf course because it is just spectacular right now the, the rain that we had um, the work that we've been doing on the golf course it is absolutely spectacular as far as that goes the airification of the tees uh, are all done the fairways uh, have all been done and they've pretty much healed and cleaned up already uh, Sean Sincata and his group uh, now that the rains are over have started to airify all the greens uh, they'll be able to do that a lot faster now. Um, now that the, they, they don't have to open up you know, 18 holes a day, they're going to go through and they're going to do all of them. So when we do get past this, whenever that's going to be, um, we should be in great shape with no interruptions for green verification. So the golf course is in great shape. Again, you know, we, we enjoy that you guys can walk. Um, we just like a few things that we've seen when we're out there that we'd like to kind of avoid. There was somebody feeding the geese. Uh, out on the course, you know, if you know somebody that's doing that, you know, please, we, there's not much we can do about controlling their, their, their coming in. They love the, the poa seed um, from the sprouting poa anya that, uh, that you see growing up around the roughs. Uh, that's what they're eating. Uh, but we don't need to encourage them to be here anymore because has everybody ever stepped in a, in a, in a pile of goose, you know what, you know, we, we just assume not encourage them to be around the golf course. So don't do that. And if you are driving your, your cart, we do ask that you stay on the perimeter path. The challenge really is, is that a lot of folks that are out there in their carts are not doing what they're supposed to do and they're driving around on the golf course and you know not giving it the rest that uh, we should be taking advantage of right now. So if you do want to be on the golf course, you're more than welcome. Please walk, walk along the paths. If you want to walk uh, on the fairways and the roughs, that's okay. You know, we prefer you don't run your dog uh, on, on the fairways. But if you want to walk your dog, as long as you uh, remove any waste that you uh, bring, that, that uh, it creates while it's out there, you know, that's fine. And, and please stay off the putting surfaces. You know, I've noticed some people that are walking that I don't think are golfers, and I've seen them walking straight across the middle of the, of the, of the putting greens. But overall, you know, uh, like Joel said, uh, and if you haven't seen it yet, you know, Joel said the same thing. We appreciate uh, how everybody's been out there. We really thought that there was going to be more issues with people playing on the golf course uh, while it's been closed and it's been it's been really nice so far people have been staying staying home people have been staying apart when they've been out on the golf course you know so hopefully you know we're doing our part to try to speed past all of this uh, and also check your emails you know I will be sending uh, some of the manufacturers are sending out some some promotions obviously you know you have no golf you're not losing golf balls you're not buying golf balls so they're not selling golf balls so it's a it's a it's a crazy circle of things. So they've actually got some decent promotions that I'll send out to you guys. You'll be, we're, since we're not open for business, we're, uh, we're gonna have you deal directly with them. And uh, it's just a nice opportunity for you guys to enjoy some discounts and stock up on some balls for when we are open. You know, and once we do that, you know, we obviously, once we do uh, get past this, whenever that's going to be, I'm really not sure exactly when that's going to be as nobody really does. Um, the uh, there are going to be some guidelines uh, that I will send out beforehand. Um, the tea time system uh, will change. We're finalizing the details, talking with some people, talking with some some of the, some of the staff members about how we obtain tea times and so forth. So that should be that should be forthcoming in the next uh, week or so, um, so we can get that out so everybody can be ready once we are able to open. Because once we are going to be able to open, obviously we're going to have to plan ahead. We're going to have to get everything set back up again. And we're going to have to get word out uh, to when people can start making reservations so we can start populating the T-sheet. So all I can say is hang in there, stay active. You know, Joel and I will send some tips for some things that you can do. You know, 30 minutes a day, you know, have that be your goal. 30 minutes a day of some activity, something to get your heart rate up a little bit, something to get your muscles working just a little bit. I know, you know, binge watching things on Netflix, wherever the case may be, is only going to be so good for you. So if you are doing that, you know, which is fine, I mean, I admit I've done that a bit myself right now, but if you are doing that, then please, you know, make sure you stand up every 45 minutes or so. Just get up, walk around, not necessarily to the refrigerator, get another beer, although that's probably okay too. 
um, but just you know and try to get out there and stay active so when we do open up you are ready to go when you get there some of the tips that we'll provide just make sure that you talk to your doctor about what you can and what you can't do uh, as we are not physicians we don't know everybody's physical capabilities or what your limitations might be but these are some things that we'll send out to you that are good uh, good to practice just to stay sharp and if there's anything that you need uh, i think everybody has my email address you know how to get a hold of me and uh, just send me a note any questions any concerns be more than happy to get an answer to you straight away be safe be healthy and we hope to see you very soon mm -hmm.